Hello again, YouTubers. My name is TGS Gamer, and I'd like to show you how to make this fully automatic reed farm. Let's get going. Okay, the first step in making the reed farm is to dig a three block wide trench, however long you uh, want your reeds, uh, depending on how many pistons you have. So I'm just going to pick five. The reason I, I don't need any pickaxes is because I'm using Zombies Mod Pack, the Swiss Army Knife of Mods, and um, I'm on Builder Mode, so I don't actually need um, a pickaxe to mine things, break things, in, in, instant destruction. You, of course, will need a pickaxe unless you're using this mod. Change your mind, we're going to make it six. Okay, then after you have your uh, three by however long trench, you're going to fill one row with dirt, and the other with water. And guess what the dirt is for? That's going to be planting your sugar cane. So go ahead and plant that. So right now it looks like a regular sugar cane farm that you would farm from this side. We can go that way. But we're going to change that. We're going to build a barrier around it with pistons and stone. I'm using stone. You can use any material you like. Next step is to fill this layer with pistons so that it will shoot off and cut off the second, uh, the second and third block of reed. So we'll make a line of pistons here and then block off the ends. Alright, and then you're going to want to cover the top two to make sure that no reeds uh, bounce over the pistons. Alright, now you have a basic setup of your reed farm. What you're going to want to, get, you're going to, want to do next is build the... Um, uh, I'm blanking on the name. You're going to build the, uh, the thing that um, <coughs> activates the pistons, so the uh, activator, I suppose. So, we're just going to go ahead and... Oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. Okay. going to have to be back in a second. Uh, my redstone torch has failed. Okay, I am back. I have my uh, redstone torches again. Had to make some. Sometimes it's a bug with uh, zombies. So we're going to put a line of redstone torches right here. Just going to extend all the pistons, but we're going to change that later. You're going to want to keep one block right here so we can have a redstone current going up to it and all of the torches. So it looks like we can put a pressure plate right there. So now we're going to build the timer, which is two blocks. You're going to put a pressure plate right here and a dispenser right there. So um, actually, we're going to need to block off the dispenser, so we'll place it like that. And then hop up here and destroy this middle block so the dispenser can actually shoot things out. Okay, now that we have that, we're going to set up the uh, loop back. And that is, we're going to loop it around like this. Create an inverter, a knot gate, if you will. And um, uh, one like that. We're going to put three uh, redstone repeaters and set them all to four ticks each. So there we go. And that's going to activate the dispenser. So now, um, it's looking like, yep, that's it. You've just created an automatic read farm. The only thing we'll have to do is to load this up with something uh, inexpensive and not valuable like dirt. So I'm going to break that to set it up for the first time. And that should retract all the pistons. I'm making that for me. And, oops, actually I made, I made this in a uh, snow biome. So let me fix that real quick. There we are. So now you have an automatic reed farm, and in five minutes, that's going to do the same thing that you saw in the beginning of this. I will also be showing you a take from the back of the uh, uh, of the apparatus and the uh, pistons moving, just so you can see what it looks like. And that's how it works.